You're watching Auto du Monde. And we're visiting Charlevoix. Welcome on Auto du Monde. If you like our content, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. So this week we visit Charlevoix. More precisely, we'll visit the eastern region of Charlevoix, including Belle Rocher, Saint Simeon, and Port Percy. Follow us. Bienvenue dans la mobile. Today, we visit the eastern part of the Charlevoix region. It's a very popular place for outdoor activities. Now, we are heading to Baie des Rochers, or the Rocks Bay, for a hike. Only a winner. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. So, Hélène, where are we today? Do you know? We are at Saint-Simeon. That's what I know. Where are we? When the ruins are less good. Bédé Rocher is located about 15 km from saint siméon To get there, you have to take road 138 towards Tadoussac, then the municipal road that allow you to discover this hamlet that is more and more popular with tourists. Of exceptional beauty, Bédé Rocher owes its name to Samuel de Champlain, who in his 1632 travel named it Hans au Rocher. This name probably comes from the fact that at low tide, the bay is dotted with hundreds of rocks that are visible at high tide. Oh, Bédé Rocher, on va partir de notre euh, marche matinale dans le sentier. C'est un go. Suivez-nous avec autour du monde. With several kilometers of hiking trails, the municipal park lets you discover the enchanting setting of Bédé Rocher and its breathtaking landscapes. You can also go canoeing and kayaking, and the more adventurous can even go wilderness camping on site. On our side, we decided to complete the four kilometers loop of the Sandy Cove Trail, which offers an exceptional view on the bay. The route is steep, but the effort is fully rewarded when we reach the end of the trail. Vincent, how was the trail? Oh, it's a fantastic. fantastic trail. Fantastic trail. I invite all our followers to visit Bédé Rocher. The Sandy Cove Trail is considered intermediate by Rando Quebec, but we met many families who go there to spend a few hours on this magnificent beach. Cut off from the world, we could admire the St. Lawrence River in all its splendor. So, Vincenzo, come vai? Muy bien. No hablaré de Italian. So, after Bédé Rocher, we are now in Port au Percy. Like Bédé Rocher, Poro Percy seems to have been mentioned for the first time by Samuel de Champlain in his 1632 travel. He wrote that from the Poro Femme we got to the Poro Percy nearly a mile away, which is a cove behind a cape where there is a small river 
that dries up at low tide. The small river comes from the mountains, which are very high. He adds that from Port au Percy, one goes around a mountain of rock, then to the port of the Salmon. Paro Percy has also been used as a film location for many movies, such as Captor Mount or Emporte-moi. Popular, the Hamlet is also a must for painters who have been coming here for over a century. The most famous of them is without a doubt Jean-Paul Lemieux, who spent entire summers at the Paro Percy Hotel to paint this magical landscape. If you pass through this village, don't forget to stop at the pottery or getting a bottle of local cider. Like us, most of the tourists go to the old arbor of Poro Percy, which welcomed for decades the schooners belonging to the citizen of the place. Sailor or farmer, such were indeed the two trade of the area. What many people do not know is that Poro Percy was first settled by Scottish in the 19th century, not being Catholic. These protestant Scottish found the place to practice their faith in isolation and prospers as they were involved in the lumber trade. As you walk around, you will notice the beautiful little chapel that has become, over the years, the symbol of the hamlet. The McLarens still own the building built by their ancestor and continue to come to the land of their patriarch, Neil McLaren. If you are lucky enough, while walking on these rocks, you may see few beluga whales that come into the bay from time to time. Take a few moments to contemplate the St. Lawrence River, which is nearly 20 kilometers wide here. The village of Saint Simeon is located at a strategic crossroads. Indeed, here you can decide to continue your road towards three regions of Quebec. To the east, Road 138 continues to the North Shore. To the north, Road 170 takes you to the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region, while the Trans-Saint Lawrence will take you across the river to Rivière du Loup. The slogan Charlevoix's Nature Village suits well to the municipality as it offers many outdoors activities. We took a trail that leads to the cross of the municipality and who offers an exceptional panorama on the village. At all times, right next to the ferry, tourists also like to spend a few hours on the superb beach of the place. But be careful, the water of the St. Lawrence River is really cold. Only the most adventurous will dare to put their foot in the water. After spending a few hours in saint Simeon, we take advantage of our stay in the area to visit the back country. Indeed, Charlevoix has several lakes in the middle of the forest and there is no lack of outfitters. On the road, we make another brief stop at the Parc d'Aventure en Montagne, Les Palissades. The place has been in operation since the 70s and the trails to the summit offer a unique panorama. When the weather is nice, you can even see the Saint Lawrence River in the distance. We strongly recommend that you visit this place.
a small hidden treasure on a forest road leading to the Bataram Club. The Black Rivers offer shallow pools suitable for swimming. During hot weather, it's a great place to cool off, and the river offers spectacular pictures, as you can see on these images. Hey, eu tô desmão. As we say, the municipality of Saint Simeon offers several outdoor activities. If you have a few hours, you can go pedal boating, paddle boarding, or kayaking on the Black Lake. All of this is managed by Camp Arthur Savard, an amazing site that offers food and lodging. From there, you can also take the Aurignac Trail, which is a 16-kilometer round trip. On site, you can also visit a farm that will please the children. On our side, we prefer to drive in the forest. Small advice, do not go there by car. The road is well maintained, but a vehicle more adapted to the forest driving is way better. Today, we visit some lake in Charlevoix. We were able to see an exceptional landscape and spectacular lakes like the Lake Plongeon, which is three kilometers long. The wildlife here is unique in the middle of the Canadian Shield. Moreover, the mountains have this rounded shape since they are among the oldest in the world. We toured several kilometers in the middle of the forest. Little advice here, do not use Google Map for forest roads. La leçon c'est quoi? Dans le bois, tu te fies pas à Google Map. Non. Filmez-vous au moins? Ouais, comme ça, Hélène, c'est ça. Here ends this first day in Charlevoix. We hope you enjoyed that new episode of Auto du Monde in Charlevoix. In our next episode, we'll visit the Manicouagan Dam and the eastern shore of Saint Lawrence River. And also, we'll go whale watching. See some footage of that new episode.